Jeff Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, and we go up to our ring announcer, Chuck Hall, with the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next event of the day, the judges are Dave Moretti, Al Siciliano, and Lou Tabbitt. Your referee is Jay Nady. Representing the IBF at ringside is Mr. Dan Jones, and this is the main event of the afternoon, featuring 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 218 pounds, with a professional record of 12 wins, one defeat with eight KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kurt Shepard. And in the blue corner, from Phoenix, Arizona, he weighed in at 222 pounds. His professional record consists of nine wins, one defeat, one draw, with five KOs. Introducing Obed Sullivan. 12 rounds of boxing. Well, John, as we mentioned in our open today, a very uh, significant career fight for both fighters here. They can both take a giant step. Either one of giants up. And, and very much of an even matchup in a lot of ways, too. Well, both these guys are probably going to try to outbox each other. That's been uh, their style in the past. And I don't suspect we'll see a lot different today. Obed Sullivan coming in at 9-1-1. One, one. He's got five knockouts. Curtis Shepard, 12, 1 and 0, 8 KOs. Not exactly either one which you would call a knockout expert. Shepard in the black shorts. The dreadlocks tied back, and Obed Sullivan comes out fast, really popping that jab, John. He's in the, the gold shorts. It says Sullivan across the front, because that's his name, and he lands a good right. Establishing the jab for both fighters, a key in this fight. As I said before, they like to work behind that jab. Curtis Shepard on a bit of a roll. One is, has won his last 10 fights since losing to Darren Hayden back in 1989. And of course, that was a six round decision. He's never been stopped. Sullivan's never been stopped either. His one loss coming to Jonathan Grant. Sullivan backing up Shepard there with the jab and in the right hand. And Shepard trying to fight off the ropes in a little bit of trouble here, Arnie, in the first round. And Sullivan coming in very much in shape here. We got to point out that that one loss that he had to Jonathan Grant, he weighed 250 pounds for that fight. John, he now weighs 222 today. Looking excellent and very aggressive here. This is certainly no chess match as we thought it would be, particularly in the early rounds. Both fighters, as we mentioned, have a lot at stake here. Could wind up at the top 10 in some very big money fights. So they want this bacon IBF Intercontinental Heavy. Oh, and a good left hand by Sullivan. Drops Shepard. And he's hurt, John. His, his head landed right on the rope. He can't get up. This fight's he needs gotta help. Be stopped. It's gotta be stopped. He needs help very badly. It's over. A devastating left hook from Obed Sullivan drops Curtis Shepard. His head landed right on the back of the rope. His neck landed there, and that's been the cause of a lot of boxing injuries. The doctors are over him. Sullivan, of course, quite happily running all over the ring. But I think they've got to take a very close look at Curtis Shepard, who landed right on the bottom rope. His neck landed there. Eyes glazed over. First round knockout, it was a left hook. Perfectly planted left hook from Obed Sullivan. And somehow he got a little nick. Obed Sullivan on the bottom of his left eye. I think that's Miguel Diaz looking at it. Doesn't matter now, we're gonna take a look at the knockout. Look for a left hook. Backpedaling Curtis Shepard. Here comes a left hook over the top. Oh, right on the money. And he's gonna land down, his head lands. We take a look from another angle. Watch the left hook there, right on the money. And his head lands on the bottom strand of the bottom rope. He had trouble getting up. Referee Jay Nady 
And we take a look here. Obed Sullivan with a thankful prayer and a very dejected Curtis Shepard who drops to 12 and two, never got off. And the much more aggressive Curtis Shepard comes out and we're gonna throw it up now to Chuck Hole with the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 49 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout and new IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Phoenix, Arizona, Obed yeah. Sullivan. Yeah. Obed Sullivan improves the 10 one in one That's his fifth knockout. A very, very impressive win. And I know we're gonna go up to John Saracino shortly up there, who's gonna be talking with Obed Sullivan and just see where he sees his future going. And now John with Obed Sullivan, the new IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. Okay, John. Obed, congratulations. We kind of thought this fight might be a little bit of a chess match early on, but clearly that was not your game plan. Well, our game plan was to come out and jab, establish a jab. We didn't know too much about Curtis Shepard, but we knew he was a, a, a step better than um, Peter McNeely or, or somebody like that. You know, he's a good fighter. He's a strong fighter. I'm still coming up, you know, I, I got to keep my composure sometimes. But um, as you can see, I'm broken up. But good fight. Good fight, man. But um, he's a strong guy, you know. We thought all the hoopla with Vegas might distract him a little bit because it's his first time fighting in Vegas. It's my third time. Um, I got nothing but good things to say about the guy. He's a big, strong guy. And as you can see, you know, even though the fight didn't go as long as we thought it would go, he didn't, um, I mean, even though the fight was shorter than we thought, you know, th that we thought the fight would be a 12 rounder. We had no idea what was going on. So um, he's a tough guy and I got to give him a lot of respect. Hey, basically you trained for this fight where you wanted to beat him off your jab. We yeah. were stunned when we saw and the- You notice when he came out, he's got a decent jab. Now that, this was a headbutt or an elbow. I don't think it was um, an intentional headbutt. But we train mostly to take the jab away and jab. And he, I sometimes, like I said, you know, I'm still up and coming and I still got a lot of growing up to do. We got a lot of work to do in the gym. And I sort of got a little anxious there when I heard him. But we're happy with what happened. We're, we're, I'm, I'm elated. You know, when you uncorked that left hook and Shepard hit the bottom strand of the ropes, I don't know if you saw it, but his neck came down right in the bottom strand, which is a very dangerous thing very for a dangerous. fighter to hit. Were you, cons how concerned were you that he was gonna be able to get up and be all right? When I hit him with the left hook, these gloves are Everlast gloves. I mean, I, I didn't think that, that he would get up. I honestly didn't, because if you saw my reaction, I turned and I cheered at the crowd. I got all of that. It's almost like a baseball player, a slugger who gets good wood on a, on a baseball. He knows it's gone, he just starts to try it. I knew it was gone, I got a little excited. And that wasn't meant to, to, to have, have anything negative to say about his, but I'm just so happy. I mean, can you imagine this? This is my 12th pro fight. And this guy right here has had a lot more fights than I have. He's probably had more knockouts than I've had fights. So to get this win like this is just, I'm lost. I can't even, I just want to go home and call my wife, Annette. Obed, at this point in your career, you're still learning how to fight. You said you got a little over anxious when you got him hurt, right got a little sloppy. Him. But where do you think you need to go right now? Do you want to improve the level of I'm opposition? A, a one-way plane ticket right back to camp. I'm going back to Mesa, Arizona to train because this fight could have been a, I mean, I don't want to say, this fight could have been a lot easier than where I made it. A lot of veteran guys, if you hurt them, they'll, get, they'll regain their composure. I can speak of one of the guys that I, I was lucky, lucky enough to beat, Levi Billups. I dropped him in the fifth or the sixth round and I know it was a good shot. He got up and immediately got in my butt. I'm a young fighter. You can't, just because you hurt someone, this is what this sport's about. You're gonna get hurt if you 200 pound guys out here throwing leather. You can't lose your composure. And that's what I did. And, and my trainer, Chuck Charles McGregor, yes. Come on in, he'll, Chuck. Be, he'll, be, he'll have a paddle ready for me at the gym. When we get back, <laughs> he'll say, Ben, IBF Intercontinental Champion. Look at this tape, wow, look at this. Look how amateurish you look. Look how your feet were uh, parallel. I'll block out the hard so punches. Please, I'll cut victory, them out. <laughs> it'll be probably be two days or a week. We'll be back in the gym training. What did you think of his performance today? Didn't get a chance to see anything. Uh, I was looking for seven to eight to 10 rounds. Uh, first round slow, second round, middle part of the second round, pick it up with the left hand in movement. 
By the time we get back, third round, he's going to be in sync. Middle of the third round, you're going to start Joshua, to see o Obed Sullivan. And from the third round on, it was going to be showtime. Because he's a slow starter, believe it or not. He really is. So when he exploded that left hook, you were probably the most surprised guy in the building, right? Yeah. Well, he... I think the belt meant so much to him that he went after the guy a little quicker than I wanted him to. Well, the fact that he was hitting me with right hands had a little bit to do with it, too. I didn't really want to go a whole a lot on distance. You can tell the guy, he didn't really have his composure. He's a, lot, he, he's a much better fighter than what he displayed today. He, he's caught up in the Vegas thing. You know, Las Vegas is the, is the best city on earth. I mean, it's the, hey, everyone from all around the world comes to this city. I mean, this guy is fighting in Virginia, never been out of the state, comes to Las Vegas. Are you crazy? This thing will have you uh, up in the stratosphere. Okay, Obed Sullivan, thank you very much. Congratulations. Back to ringside with Arnie Rosenthal. Thank you, John. And Obed Sullivan is.